Now some of you guys might be surprised at what I'm about to say and say. Who is this lame who says he knows the game? And where did he learn to play? Well, I'd like to tell of how I fell and the trick fate played on me. So gather round and I'll run it down and unravel my pedigree. It was Saturday night and the jungle was bright and the game was stalking its prey. The code was crime on the neon line and the weak were doomed to pay. When crime begun, when daughter fought son, and your dad, he lay in jail. As your mom lay awoke, with her heart almost broke, cause the pad was up for sale. Where blood was shed for the sake of bread, and drunks rolled for their poke, by the sleight of hand of a Murphy man, or the words that a con man spoke, where attics prowl with a tigerish scowl in search of that lethal blow, and the wino cringes from the canned he binges and finds his grave in the snow, where bells of vice sell love for a price, and even the law is corrupt. As you go down trying, you keep on crying. Man, it's a bitter cup where the jungle creed says a strong must feed on any prey at hand. I was branded a beast. I sat at the feast before I was a man. In the gaudy display of the midnight ray, lit up like a Christmas toy. I made my play for a female prey. At the time, I was just a boy. I was young and prancy, and pot was my fancy. I was known as the adequate male, but I cursed the day I made my play for that sidewalk. Jezebel. She was a brown skin mall, like a Chinese doll, walking up and down in sin. Back and forth she trod, with a wink and a nod, to the nearest Ho House Den. Now it wasn't by chance that I caught her glance, cause I intended to steal this dame. So I smiled with glee and said, Golly gee, it's time for this kid to game. Her eyes shone bright in the neon light, and from them a teardrop fell. When I asked her why, she began to cry and tell me this bitter tale about some guy who blacks her eye and takes all the dough she gets and how she lays in jail and he won't go her bail and dares her to call it quits. So I said, bitch, dry your tears and have no fears for the kind lover is here and I'm staking my claim for a piece of this game and vowing I'll have no peer. Jim, the bitch looked at me like a slave set free and said, then I'm your girl. And her man didn't stir as I split with her and we made it all over the world. She caught on fast, as the months rolled past, she played it to the bitter end, and a better hope 
I've yet to know. Although a dog is man's best friend. She was a three-way winch. She played Jasper in a pinch and took him around the hall. No Jean or John this hoe couldn't con. Cause that trick was never born. She was a good shot broad and a pro at fraud. And drag she played like a vent. She played stuff like an ace. Never lost a case and put many a mark in debt. She ranked with the best in the East and the West. When a boosting hand came down, she'd steal knots out of knees and fire those fleas. She'd steal out many a town. Now I've heard hoes cry about the wind being high and the law being on their tail, about snow and sleet being asshole deep, and the tricks can go to hell in a greasy spoon or a juke saloon. You can find them killing their time, crying hard luck tears and sucking up beers, and the pimps ain't getting a dime. Turning half dollar tricks to make a fix with a pussy doing the pimping. They're just ruining the name of a hell of a game. Cause the pimps are doing the simping. Now they're ducking and hiding, slipping and sliding, sucking them party packs and nodding so tough from fucking with stuff. Till the bitch can't see her tracks. Monday morning for sure, you can't find the hole. Cause some rookie cop has caught her. And you pawn your shit to get her ripped. And the bitch ain't made a quarter. About a month or two, when the rent's overdue, and the landlord's hopping mad. She slides between your sheets with no night's receipts, saying, Daddy, the night was bad. Why, you could cup her lid for the lowest bit. You could set her ass on fire. You could dig an account for a solid month. Cause she's the cheapest hoe you can hire. But you know the price when you deal in vice. You know it's a steady grind. And a bitch has to go and be a real good hoe to beat this triple bitch of mine. She dropped many a lug on many a mug, too numerous to call their name. Many a sap got caught in a trap. By the lure they call the game. For a lick and lap from her mellow cap, the tricks would fight a duel. Why, all the long bread was made with a head. This bitch was a real jewel. She had a good round eye, and that's no lie. How the trick house door would swing. Many a nut got busted in her butt, for the rag didn't mean a thing. Anywhere she'd follow the righteous dollar to hell if she had to go, and be there waiting to trick with old Satan. Man, I had me a money-making hoe, like a sex machine. She would walk between raindrops. Snow and hail, and stand on hot bricks to lure the tricks. Come cyclone, blizzard, or gale, she tricked with Frenchmen, torpedoes, and henchmen. To her, it was all the same. 
with Japs and Jews, Apaches and Sioux, and breeds I cannot name, with Chinks and Greeks, with Arabs and Freaks. She tricked in the house of God, no son of a gun, with this whole shop, who could pay to use his rod. The sun didn't set when a cunt wasn't wet, and her pockets heavy with gold, and many a trick with a weak end dick got took for his entire role. Now I laid and played off the dough she made from the coast to old Broadway. My game was strong, cause my money was long. I made this business pay, but the trouble began when I ranked my hand and stopped blowing and started to hit. Why, Jim, you know, I blew that dough faster than any one hoe could get. Then I blew my shack, my Cadillac, my rug up off the floor. I sold my ice at a pawn shop price and shut up all that dough. I stole from Ma, I swindled Pa, I sold my pedigree pup, I pawned my threads, sold my bed, and shut my TV up. My woman cried, and damn it died, when I went off with her mink. But I stayed in my robe, and stole, and sold. Everything but the kitchen sink. Now my deadliest blow came when the hoe took sick and couldn't gin. The Chinaman spoke, and it wasn't a joke. I knew this was the end. She had bleeding piles and inflamed bile. For a month, she couldn't pee. I was shot to hell when her ovaries fell and things looked bad for me. But believe me, friend, when lockjaw set in, the Chinaman took his toe. Her head was dead, her ass was lead, the lips of a cunt was cold. So down I fell to the depths of hell for I put myself in a cross. As my habit grew tall, my money grew small. Everything I had was lost. But I wanted to be fair and on the square. I didn't want to buck the saw. So I said, what the hell? Since this bitch ain't well, I'll get her wife-in-law. I said, lay on there till you're feeding fair and can get back in the street while I do my best to convalesce and get back on my feet. There's that cute little bitch with a whole house itch that I could latch on to and that red-headed hoe who's raring to go if the deal's okay with you. There ain't a bitch in the game with your kind of name for kicking the mud you kick. So you lay on there till you're feeling fair. And we'll see, can we make them click? Now a bitch like this is a good man's bliss. She had everything it took. But she had one fault when she was caught. The bitch couldn't lose the hook. Hell no, she said. I'll see you dead before I let you go. The black couch of sorrow will pick up your ass tomorrow if you step beyond that door. I blew my health in a bid for wealth so you could play your bit. But you went hophead 
and blew the bread. Now you're talking that stable shit. I'm not going for no brush or no bum whore's rush. And I know that's what you plan. Talking all slick with all that bullshit. Motherfucker, you ain't no man. I'm hip to the way you pimps try to play and the lugs you drop on a frail. But if this shit don't cease, I'll call the police and bury your ass in jail. I packed my shit, firing to split. And this is what I said. If that's the way you want to play, go make your own damn bread. Bitch, you ain't no lame. You know the game. They call it cop and blow. You've had your run, and now you're done. I need me another hoe. I can't cop no swag with no sway back nag whose thoroughbred days are past. I'd look pretty damn silly putting a crippled ass filly on a track that's much too fast. I was going to put you in charge of a trick house lodge and give you some girls to rule. But you spoke of hell and sending me to jail. Bitch, you must be a goddamn fool. Cause a bitch can't shit without a man's good wit. And one monkey don't stop no show. Why, in an hour or two, I'll have me a slew of bitches out there to hoe. So step aside, cause I'm fixing the slide. I mean, get the fuck off my back, cause my money's low and I need me a hoe who can run that speedy track while laying back in another hoe shack about to make my plea. I heard a thunder that the door shook under and wondered what the fuck it could be. A roller walked in, on his face was a grin, mind with a deadly expression. He said, if you're Bud, the pimping stud, all I want is a signed confession. My woman stood there with a finger in the air. That's him, she cried with glee. That's the son of a bitch with a con man pitch who made a hoe out of me. A crashing blow sent me to the floor. I sank in a black repose. When I awoke, my nose was broke and blood all over my clothes. I played it strong, but it wasn't long before they took me to court. You should have seen the shit that bitch had writ in the books of the police report. Which just goes to show that the strongest hoe can give in to that female simping. This bitch was born with a female scorn that got me two counts of pimping. Now, in jail in a six by six cell, watching the sun rise in the east. As the mornings chill the jungle still, I think of that slumbering beast. Farewell to the night, to the neon light. Farewell to you one and all. And farewell to the game. May it still be the same when I get done doing this fall. Sam, the Big Mac Man. You ought to know the name. I almost cried the day he died. 
It was a dirty shame. He liked to play on old Broadway. That's how he got his name. He lived off the hicks from out in the sticks. He was a master of the long shoe game. He was always pressed, nothing but the best. Vines and kicks he had. A thirty dollar lid and gloves of kid. Man, his threads were bad. White on whites and black skin tights. And a belt of pure crocodile. When he stepped out, all the hoes would shout. But Sam, why, he just smiled. He was riding high. His limit was the sky. He had all kinds of dough. But he became a junkie, a low-down flunky, when he pulled a dope fiend hoe. Her name was Mabel, and she was able to turn eight kinds of tricks. You'd flip your lid over that kid. If you were a hick from the sticks, she was the best in the East and the West. Once a long time ago, but an arm full of junk will take all the spunk out of the very best hoe. She said, Hey, baby, I don't mean maybe. Give this stuff a try. So he blew his fade. He lost the game. He went and got himself high. He was king of them all. Till he took that fall. Till he made that fatal slip. He thought he was boss when he shot that horse. He thought he was being hip. Two months it took till he got hooked on the pleasure of the kings. When he got caught with his money lost, he had to hock his things. He pawned his clothes, he lost his homes. He really did come down. The king of them all had started his fall. And the king had lost his crown. His clothes were tattered, but that didn't matter. Not to Sam, at least. As long as Mabel, his hoe, was able to satisfy his beast. When she went to jail, Sam had no bail to cut old Mabel loose. It was there and then the moment when Sam just cooked his goose without his hoe to bring him dough. Sam started to get sick. He got so sick, he went down on a mick. Big Sam had turned the trick. Yes, Broadway Sam, the big magman, had really fallen down. He was Sam the fag, in or out of drag, the funkiest junkie in town. They found him dead, dog shit under his head, on an alley floor. Poor faggot Sam, the once was a man, had his asshole tore. Just what went down in that part of town on that terrible night, no one knows. But some suppose that he just lost a fight. But I don't by that, I know where it's at. He died of an overdose. And every night, when the moon is bright, you can see his ghost on old Broadway, where he used to play. He moans his way around, looking for me. That hoe that was able, the bitch that brought him down. Yes, 
I knew him, and the broad that slew him, he played the game, and he searched for fame, but a faggot, he died in shame. I was stalking hoes in the center of town, right in the middle of the square, waiting for my man, cause I had a plan to cop some reefer there. And I was fly and fairly high, just standing there digging the hoes, when up drove my man, good doing van, in his super bad, El Do Rado. Van sported a wild straw, a Vanna stogie in his jaw, a silver suit looking nifty, shoes of pussy hide from the posh east side. His togs cost at least a grand and fifty. I was also decked out in nearly the best. But I couldn't touch Van. My flair was as good as his. But the reason is, Van was a long money man. He got out, looked all about, and started in to speak. When from the side, with a sexy stride, came a broad, show enough, stone freak. She wore tight mini dress that showed off her fat nest and her hair had a sunshine glow her skin porcelain hue and her eyes violet blue I saw she was a ball blaster a whole game master she had confection lips and rack hell's hips and a caboose swaying fine she didn't need to hunt for someone to suck her cunt. Any chump would do it any old time. I spoke to Van and kissed her hand and asked if this was his bunny. With a bit of a sigh, he gave this reply. She's anyone who has long money. She's bossed down, famed all around. Playing is her stick. Dury Ella Du Fontaine is this lady's name. But beware, cause this doll is slick. I've seen this sharper work. She plays like a Turk. She's deadly with a far out head. She's a sure shot Mac from a long way back. And hip how to rip off the bread. Look, guys, said D, I'm hungry as a puppy. So we planned a gourmet peck that night. We went to a spot down the street, which was chic elite. And this was my first big flight. We were players, it's true, with ribbons of blue, but clean as the board of health. No cop could tip, cause we were too hip. We painted a picture of wealth. A captain named Abel led us to our table and brought us back some wine, refreshing as cocaine from the castles of Spain. Vintage, 1879. We ate hummingbirds' hearts and other rare parts topped off with a seven inch steak grand a la king with butterfly wings and a salad that took three chefs to make we had bumblebee legs and peacock eggs steamed over leaves from peru why an hour was spent over cream de menthe as we sat admiring the view 
Now the time we were dining, Van was unwinding all of my pedigree. As we smoked a cigarette and Van painted it, I knew Duriella was pinning me. Look here, fella, said Duriella. I'd like to dig you again. Why not come around to my part of town? Say, Saturday night, about 10. Saturday night, I got fly and went on by to see Miss Dufonte. I stopped off at Joe, the dealer in snow, and caught a bag of cocaine. I got to a pad, which was some kind of bad, filled with a real nice scent, with a three-inch carpet that came from the market, somewhere in the Orient. The high fi was wailing, ah, but I was failing. I just couldn't get loose with this queen. She dug my feet cold, so she took hold and gave me some pot, light green. She put cocaine on her thumb, painted my gum, and gave me some wine to sip. You should have heard her purr as I looked at her and painted her gums and lips. She looked me dead in the eye, and without no lie, here's just what that fine chick said. I dig you candy, as a pair would be dandy, like cocaine, you go to my head, if you'll be my man, I'll play the land, and be your own true bitch, but there are times, when you must lend me to other men, and with their money, I'll make you rich. Now you know where I'm at. I really bought that and led her on off to bed. Me and this queen made love supreme. And I flipped when she gave me some head. For a month or more, I was schooled by this hoe. It was like a wonder dream. I really learned well. Cause I can't begin to tell of how this bitch could scheme then one day in bed candy honey she said today's to be our first big day we got our heads bad and left the pad and i went to the street to play it was in the celebrity club i made my first big rub with a game called the japanese fan I caught me a fool and took him real cool for a rolls and ate solid grand. He was a fag and so I had to shag and Dee didn't dig the show but she soon came at ease when I showed the AGs and dumped it out on the floor. Candy Honey, said she, I'm glad you're with me. Van said you were thoroughbred. But the truth of the thing, this was my only big sting. Though now and then, I hit for light bread. But my slick chick knew every trick. And with her, the cash rolled in. We lived real hardy. Life was a party with money, narcotics, and gin. Our pad was the best, and we both stayed real pressed. The tricks would come and go. We stayed real high and kept ourselves fly. For in hustling, D could always make dough. One night in bed, candy, honey. She said, money I've got plenty of, so you needn't give me rings, mink coats, and such things. Just give me the strength of your love. Now this really waked me, 
Cause I couldn't quite see this fast hoe being romantically uptight. But I was in love too. So what could we do but treat each other right? Then one night about one, we were out having fun in a club called the Isle of Joy. When we met Dixie Fair, multi-millionaire and international playboy. Look, fellow, said Fair, who's that fine freak there wearing that lovely red dress? I'll pay you a fee if you'll introduce her to me. I did, and Duriella did the rest. That night in bed, candy, honey, she said. I know I can take Dixie's dough, but you'll have to lay for me real patiently down in sunny old Mexico. I don't want you round when I take off this clown and snare him into my den. Then I'll come back to you and always be true and we'll never have to hustle again i took my clothes off the hook took out my bank book and made love for the rest of the day at nine that night i took off on my flight in a furious twa my stay wasn't bad I had a boss pad, and there was plenty of fabulous hoes. I pulled Carmen Trista, who was big in the quista, and a cousin of Mexican Rose. Though the climate was hot, there was plenty of pot, and the tequila was dynamite. I lay in the cut on Carmen's big butt and kept her on her knees all night. Then one day, the mailman came that way with a New York cablegram. Candy, honey, it stated. I'm glad you have waited, for I've really hit a grand slam. I'm leaving today, and I'm on my way, arriving. Jet Comet 3. Meet me at 4. Sorry, cannot say more. Love from your woman, D. Come and bathe me in milk. I put on my gray silk and downed me some ice cold wine. I bought a New York news that rocked me in my shoes when I dug this bowl. Headline, Mr. Dixie Fair, multi-millionaire, international playboy, committed suicide and died. He left all his game to a Miss Du Fontaine, who was slated to be his bride. I fought to stay calm after this atom bomb. But I grinned from ear to ear. I knew my luck had turned. As soon as I learned, all those big bucks would soon be here. I lit a smoke and made a joke with a man who drove the cab. I hummed a tune and watched the moon as I calmly paid the tab. We got to the field, and again I reeled as I heard the loudspeaker roar. Jet Comet 3 went down at sea a hundred miles from shore. Reports all state that the hand of fate has not left one alive. The plane was loaded, and when it exploded, no one had a chance to survive. A young lady gasped as she breathed her last. Tell Andy, 
Honey, she sighed, I'd have been his true bitch who'd have made him rich. Then she coughed up some blood and died. Well, I'll pull through like all down dudes do and go on playing the game. But I know for me there can never, never be another bitch like Duriella Du Fontaine. Just a boy, I punished hoes with sick joy. For pimping, I've been to the joint. And that ain't ha-ha. Up that way, I heard a shrink say, Son, it appears to me you hate your mama. Doc, I pleaded, I want to be fair. Can't I make it up somewhere? From the start, he sighed. You've mugged her heart. You've lived like Satan's pet. I'd bet nobody can pay a mama debt. I heard my skull yell back to the cell where I was winding up an ace. My cell had space like a casket. Shortly, a hack showed with his basket. He brought a letter from Ray in L.A. This is the news bro Ray had to tell. All of us here wish you well. We are crying, cause Ma is dying. She's moaning your name, praying you ain't no lame, and wishing you get here. Before she passes, Pally, don't dally there with them foul ho asses. Don't arrive late, don't jive with Ma's fate. I felt like a triple-double crosser. I could have killed that grinning heck rosser. To L.A. that week, I got a one-way ticket. Poor Ma's hair was a snow-white thicket. Before Ma opened her eyes, I thought my ticker would cease. Ma was playing possum to shoot me through hot grease. I heard a titter. Ma's voice was bitter. You got here. Ain't you mama's precious dear? I got good news, Ma, I said. I threw away my long shoes. Ma, I ain't shucking. I'm tired of joints and police ducking. I quit the pimp game. Ain't got a hoe, I claim. I'll play the square way to keep old Wolf at bay. Ma rolled up her eyes and whispered, Sweet man, hush them lies. You're gonna get a pimp mobile with a nighttime glow, some rainbow suits, and some low life hope. You're gonna get your nose froze with crystal blow. I said as I stroked Ma's red hot brow, I swear I'm staying now. Ma, I mean it to the bone. Please don't leave me alone. But kicker, she said, I ain't no hoe. 
Don't sugar bath me anymore. I put my face on Ma's bosom and pled. Please, Ma, your doctor said, in me believe or be dead. I smelled death on her breath when she spoke. She sighed. Only Jesus loves this old ugly joke. Then Ma said with a bitter smile, You're too late. Sweet Jesus told me it's heaven I rate. He and the Father is trying my case. Stood right there, smiling glory in my face. I said, Ma, JC ain't for real. I am. He's just a ghost, plain scam. Everywhere. He's gonna Jim Crow you up there. Ma, remember down here? JC was unfair. Remember how you slaved for the white folks? All your life you bought their okie dokes. Ma, give me a break. For your kids' sake. But only a stare. Ma beamed into nowhere. Then Ma said, Hush that blaspheming. God's here. Lucifer, you wasted your scheming. I cried, Ma, touch me. I'm your kid. You can feel. You can't see JC for real. Then Ma sang out with glee. Ah, oh, sweet Jesus, my ecstasy. You got my old head spinning. You say the Father forgave my sinning? Ma shouted, you ain't never sinned that tough. Mama, mama, can't you see JC is playing stuff? Ma's voice got low, talking about times long ago. And how she dressed hair door to door. Madam, May Brown will make your hair shine and sheen. Bless Gabriel's trumpet. Twix love, no strumpet can sneak between. Cost 50 cents, buys a cinch. You won't lose no bow. And if you loan, you catch one soon, for sure. Please, lady, hold my baby. Ain't he the cutest ever seen? Yes, madam, I'm a country girl. No shoes till I was 16. For he was any size at all. His pa throwed him against the wall. Ain't that cold? Poor baby wasn't six months old. But I know. The black nation has yet to see a finer lawyer than he's to be. Sweet Jesus, you here to take my hand? Living ain't much, dying is grand. I kissed her dead face and held her in a last embrace. I saw. It's my fault you died with your heart torn. Ma, you should have wasted me the second I was born. Pallies, that shrink won a bet. Ain't no way to pay a mama debt. <laughs> 